What I wanted to do was respond to a, a couple of students who talked about um, how do they look for work outside of their, their major, right? So they've majored in, in, a, in an academic discipline that they, that they don't, that they have decided that they do not want to um, pursue long term. Jobs and careers that you have throughout your lifetime will not even be, have not even been created or defined for the most part, right? You're going to have to be an active part of that. So, so prototyping and designing and, and getting into the practice um, of actually making that shift right now is probably advantageous because you're going to have to do it um, for most of your life. So, so the advice is um, take a good inventory and stock of your capabilities, skills, knowledge gained, practices, and think about the projects that you've worked on, um, the actions that you've taken, the results that you've achieved, and the skills that you've learned, and think about what's transferable to move into a different field. <clears throat> and then begin to kind of al al align that and recraft a resume and recraft um, kind of your narrative. Now, it might mean that you're going to have to do a little more groundwork in terms of what I would call conversations of inquiry rather than just uh, informational interviews, right? But, but you'll, you may need to sort of build some of that network. And um, when you're doing that, the first thing that you're doing in, when you're making this change is you're building a new set of people or a team of people that will help you make that change, right? You're not going to go out to start applying for jobs right away. You're rebuilding a team. So if you're if you've been in mathematics and you want to move into healthcare and and informatics, as, as it were, right, you're going to start to rebuild that career. But think about it as a real opportunity. Think about it as as a, a, a unique challenge. Think about it as a gift, right? Because really super um, enthusiastic that you've you've had the courage to make this change now rather than be decide to sort of follow a path that that is not yours that's not motivating you that's not your direction it's not your purpose it's not your inspiration uh, or your aspiration and and be in a job just to have a job or to start a career just because you're living someone else's life and certainly you know if you're making some decisions that you want to take time off and and volunteer or join the Peace Corps or AmeriCorps or travel or learn a trade, right? All of that is good. This is your life, your journey. And as we've said, better to, leave your, better to live your, your best life in the most authentic way than to be a poor copy of someone else. Uh, anyway, great questions. Um, have a great evening. Thanks so much.